Hello, welcome again. This is our third video on putting together a floor plan for our week three exercises in AutoCAD. And uh, with this one, as we put together, we put our, our the exterior of the house together, the, exterior, the line that represents the exterior of our wall, the outside of our exterior wall, and uh, we put it together as uh, polylines, and we connected the polylines together by using the zero radius option on the fillet uh, command. And uh, before we did that, we actually dimensioned everything to make sure everything comes out right. So it does look good right now. And what we want to do is we want to, as our next step, do the offset command, the, the distance of the wall. But one thing to keep in mind, let's say you're, you're looking at this thing and you think that maybe 19 feet for two bedrooms might be a little bit on the small side. This is your opportunity to actually do some stretching and moving your houses, uh, your walls around before you get uh, a lot of complex geometry in here. So what I like to do is to make that 19 feet, let's make that about 25 feet. So go to the stretch command. You get a pick box window. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, everything to the on the right hand side of the house I'm going to stretch it by six feet so I can start down here to the lower right go to the upper left anything that selects from the right to the left selects everything that's inside of it plus everything that crosses it that's a test question by the way so we're going to select that spacebar or enter establish a direction and we're going to type in um, six feet let's do eight feet so now we have a 27 foot uh, wall on top and that should be plenty of room for a couple bedrooms I'm going to have back there. Just to make sure that it still fits in area size layout. Yeah, it does. And you might want to move that around a little bit too just to make sure everything fits. But let's wait to the very end of our design to do that. Go back to our model. And let's offset it. Now we, we talked about our, um, our walls a little bit, about wall thicknesses in, in class. Our interior walls are four and a half inches because of a three and a half inch uh, uh, stud in the middle of the wall plus half an inch of drywall on either side. So it's three and a half inches plus a half an inch plus a half an inch comes out to four and a half inches. It's a little bit different with an exterior wall depending on what sort of siding you want to put on there. But uh, you start with a five and a half inch stud, five and a half inch uh, uh, structural member for the wall. And you're going to have a half an inch drywall on the inside, which uh, comes out to uh, six inches total. And then you're going to have a sheathing on the outside, which is another half inch. So now we're talking about six and a half inches. Everything else beyond that is all siding. So what I was going to do with the outside of my house is just put on some regular ordinary five eighths inch uh, OSB product, uh, some T111 siding or something very similar. So what that does is it takes that six and a half inches, adds another five eighths of an inch, which gives me a wall thickness of, and this is just for demonstration, depending on how thick you want your walls, my wall thicknesses are gonna be seven and an eighth inches. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's uh, go to the offset command on the, the modify palette on the home tab. Uh, specify the distance, we're gonna type in 7.125, enter. Click on our polyline, and when we do that, it gives us a choice of uh, clicking on the outside of the line or the inside of the line. We want to do the inside. So what we have is a line that represents the outside of our exterior wall and a line that represents the inside of our exterior wall. And that should do it. That's our exterior wall. Let's go ahead and dimension that. You need to do this once. Dimension your exterior wall, whatever it might be. We'll take this dimension, move it out a little bit so it's a little bit more visible. And now we're moving on, we're making progress, and we'll do some more in the next video.